you're here. Sleeping out under the stars tonight. Perfect timing. <laughs> Nailed it. This should be a hit. Dear Ignis, a dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then, we learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right, we're gonna get our wheels back. Our goal is the Regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. Together on my signal. Until then, hold position. Three, two, one.
Check yourself later. Now we kick Imperial butt. Onward. Yep. Stop. What? Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right. have to, if we keep to the shadows. Right. Target the blind spot. One hit, one kill. What's powering the base? A Magitech generator of some description. It would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong. I say we wreck it. Spare us the sneaking around. The risk is too great. Finding the regalia comes first. Not a sound. You'll alert the anime. Got it. hanging around here. Indeed.
There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. Our new objective is to clear a path for the Regalia. Take out the generator and all enemies in the area. Knocked. Focus your efforts on the generator. There's a chance doing so will weaken the MTs. No more stealth. Our cover's blown. Go to town. Yes, sir!
The entire base is fair game. Hold nothing back. and split. Piece of cake, huh? Hmm. This part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Now, there's a base. We go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever. I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. 
Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. Ah, oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Bravis. You receive the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the Chosen King. Awful high and mighty for an Imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, I command! The King's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. Go? Let's do it! Should the Chosen fall, that too is fate. Hides! 
say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravis Nox Fleuret, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. At long last, the Imperial blockades of Disgaean roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being.